Hello, my name is Chris Dees and I'm going to take you through a quick demonstration of Telestream's QC products, VidChecker and Aurora. VidChecker is a Windows-based file auto QC system. In simple terms, it takes a file, inspects it according to a set parameter, and then produces a report. As you can see, VidChecker is running as a Windows application. You can also configure this to run as a Windows service if you would like. The first page that you arrive on in the Intuitive Web GUI is the Task Monitor page. You can see, at a glance, a list of tasks that have completed or any jobs that are ongoing. You can see, looking at this status symbol here, the status of the task and how many alerts have been produced. At the moment, with this VidChecker system, there are no tasks running. This can be seen from this dialogue up here. If we click into one of the reports, we can have a look at the kind of information that VidChecker can provide. As you can see, the report is easy to read and well structured. At the top, we always have an input file details section, which gives an example of some of the particulars to do with the file, such as container, codec, frame rate, and audio. As we move down the report, you can see individual thumbnails and time codes showing where the alerts have happened. For example, this first one suggests that there may have been a Luma block digital video dropout between this time code and this time code. And it also gives you a little pictorial explanation of where in the picture it thinks it found the issue. A similar methodology is available for audio. As you can see, alert number 26 here says that we have a peak audio level violation from this time code until this time code. And a bit more information about the problem here and a picture of the waveform to show roughly where the issue was. The VidChecker report can be outputted as a PDF or XML uh, and can also be grabbed via our comprehensive SOAP API. In order to choose what you'd like to test, this is done via templates. VidChecker by default ships with a number of default templates, as you can see from this list, covering a number of common broadcast and VOD platforms. However, the real power of VidChecker and for that matter any QC tool is actually building your own custom template for your own specific use case. To do that, we simply click on the new button here, type a name for our template here, such as this, and then we can go and start adding checks. VidChecker has a range of container, video and audio checks um, to cover most file uh, delivery requirements. These can be things like as simple as suggesting what the container must be and what the codec must be. We even have deep down checks such as an enhanced syntax check. You can see from this list, VidChecker also has tests for captions to make sure that captions are present and the signal is continuous. And it can also do things like check whether AFD is present in the stream and if it changes throughout the stream or not. The logic within VidChecker is very simple. If you would like to test something, you simply switch the test on and configure. For example, if we wanted to test that our video codec is ProRes, we would switch on the video codec test. We would choose ProRes from this drop down list here. And then we would choose uh, any particulars that go with that. So maybe in this case, it must be ProRes 422HQ. We would click this. And then we would choose if it is not ProRes 422HQ, do we want VidJacker to give a warning or a rejection, like so. There are also in context help items for all tests, as you can see here. If we click on this help icon here, the help file is opened and navigates directly to the correct place. In terms of video checks, VidChecker decodes the video and can test a range of different items, such as letterboxing and pillarboxing, luma and chroma levels, color gamut, HDR, color bars, black frames, PSE, media offline, and dead pixels. Some of these tests are available for VidChecker's patented intelligent auto correction. For example, luma and chroma levels. Once the test has been set up, you can then tick this tick box here uh, to allow VidChecker to automatically correct if it finds any problems. Auto correction is available for Luma Chroma levels, black level, RGB gamut, 
colour bars, black frame, PSE and dead pixels. Under the audio checks page, similarly, a large range of audio checks are available. Many different audio codecs are supported and we also have an additional Dolby decoding option available. Vidjika can test various things to do with the audio configuration, such as channel positions, bit depth and sample rate, and can also decode the audio and test things like integrated loudness and peak level. Correction is also available for these items, as you can see from the presence of this checkbox here. Under general settings within, within the template, some basic workflow parameters can be configured. For example, if you wanted to move the file on a pass or warning, you can choose a location to automatically move the file on completion of the test. You can also choose to automatically generate a report if you'd like, or even run a, a post-processing shell command after processing for a basic integration. Running a task on VidChecker can be as simple as choosing the template from the dropdown, browsing to the file on our intuitive built-in file browser, and pressing start task. Or, for a little bit more automation, you can set up a watch folder within VidChecker. To do this, you simply choose the template, choose the folder, give it a friendly name, and then press start, and then any files that get dropped into that folder will automatically start running against that template. Telestream Aurora is our sister file-based QC product that recently joined the Telestream family uh, due to the Tetronix video merger. Telestream Aurora also has a very comprehensive feature list and will actually complement VidChecker in a number of respects. Although there is a lot of overlap in terms of functionality, Telestream Aurora does have some unique features which differentiate it from VidChecker and from the competition. The operating mode is pretty similar to VidChecker. You start with the dashboard page which gives you an overview of tasks that are running, in the queue or have completed. As you can see looking down here, a number of tasks have completed, the green ones have passed, the red ones have failed. If we would like some more information about these tasks, we can simply load the report by clicking on this icon here, which will load the report into a new tab. Similarly to VidChecker, Aurora will give an overview of the file, giving some in-depth information about the general parameters of the file. Aurora does have some unique tests, such as TechMOS and Perceptual Video Quality, or PVQ. These tests both score the video on a five point scale to give a really general overview of the quality of the video across the entire file. The results are displayed in this intuitive graph, which gives a very simple visual representation of what's going on with the video quality throughout the file. As we scroll down the error report, we can choose to show all errors. And similarly to VidChecker, we get a timecode alert for each frame of video. This report can also be easily outputted as a PDF or can also be grabbed via the API if needed. Aurora also has an analytics function, which allows you to see at a glance information about the frequency of different test alerts. Aurora's template editor consists of a number of different tests. Stream summary simply provides information about the stream. Syntax checks can provide in-depth syntax information for various codecs, containers, and captions. Container metadata looks at the file container and can decide some and can test some various parameters such as file size, bit depth and length. Video metadata looks at some more specific video information such as the frame size, the bit rate, the uh, duration of the actual video itself. Under video quality, the video is decoded and a number of tests are run against the decoded picture. This can test for things such as macro blocks, freeze frames, black frames, tape drops, letterboxing and pillar boxing, PSE, and various other types of dropouts and defects. This is where you can also configure the unique PVQ and TechMOS tests. Similarly for audio, metadata tests can be configured as well as audio quality tests, where the audio is decoded and the audio baseband is actually inspected. Aurora also has a number of distribution and broadcast tests, such as being able to test for Cable Labs TV constraints, the NTSC video format, the PAL video format, DB, DVB-T formats, ISDB, AS11 MXF, Kabel Deutschland, AS10 for France, 
iTunes, Netflix, ARDZDF and China HDTV. These tests act a bit like a macro, as in, if you switch them on, a full range of compliance tests will be loaded, and this is the only test that you may need to enable in your profile to test a file for delivery to that specification. Thank you very much for your time. More information is available on the Telestream website.